How's it going, everybody? My name is Joe, and I'm going to be reacting to the season premiere of The Umbrella Academy, Season 4, Episode 1. And before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hey everyone, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. Once again, my name is Joe, and I'm ready to jump in to watch the season premiere of The Umbrella Academy. I am decently excited. I quite enjoyed the show. I know it's had its ebbs and flows throughout the first three seasons, but I am uh, very intrigued to see how they end season four with them already knowing that this was going to be the end. So they had time to prepare. So cross my fingers that it sticks to landing, but you never know. You never know how these things go. Especially with a show that has a lot of ups and downs, you don't know which direction it's going to be. So cross my fingers that it ends well and bear with me. It definitely takes me a bit, an episode or so to kind of get reacclimated and remembering everything that happened. All I kind of remember was just the, the cubal glitz or whatever that ball thing was, was called. The thing was, what was it, imploding or whatever. It was about to just almost destroy their world. And there was like that red button and I'm already forgetting the main girl, but she pressed it. Now they're in this other multiverse universe thing. And I just remember Luther dying, Klaus died. And because of this button, they're all were able to come back to life and have a more peaceful or they have, it follows their, what they wanted, their dreams. Like with Luther, he didn't, he doesn't have his like ape like body. I don't know why I'm blanking on the main girl, but her daughter is still there. And then it ended with them with the husband from back then. So that was pretty interesting. And then obviously with Reginald as well, who is now just running the world, very the boys, Vought style, just his company. And he brought back his wife. So yeah, I know there's a little things here and there that I remember, but yeah, once I jump in, it'll probably come back to me. So so with that said, if you want to check out the previous season's reactions, feel free to check those out. But for now, let's just jump in and watch the first episode of The Umbrella Academy. Where is your fight? Please take your hand off me. Not uh, I forgot to power. mention that too. They I lost their blink. powers. How do we get him back? Six years later. Wow. For the setup, Jane. You are welcome, Jane. Walk away and you're out of the tournament. Christ. <laughs> As they got up and got forced to bear. Cash or trade. Straight up. Oh. Okay. Love on love. Tom Holland. <laughs> Ten grand. Or fuck off. You just had the perfect amount, huh? Damn. Right. Ooh. <laughs> Those dudes, low umbrella transition for this. Jerry, I know he's here. Where is he? Amy, what's up? Vic's officially blown through every woman in town. Long time. Luther? No, I was just calling to see if you're going to that thing. Little Grace's birthday party. Yeah, they did. Come on. Think about it. His glory days over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So put your hands down my pants and some people ah. and you're getting the <laughs> covered like Man. my waffle house at this time. Do it. Me, baby, ain't it like they do on the discovery oh, channel. Damn. Man, you can't even take a piss normally. He's in a hurry. I said I'm coming! Peggy, go on his head! Okay, Touch that horn again and I will drag you out of this land rover and disconnect your brain stem. <laughs> the first place. Fuck me. And no nonsense. I'm taking her to a party. You don't have somebody else who can do that? <gasps> Go Klaus. Oh, he's there. The <laughs> you are such a pussy. Oh, well, do you have any idea how many... Want to get home before climate change ends the world as we know it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be I've Allison's for the truth. daughter? It's this timeline, man. Yeah. It's screwed up. A cabal of teenage super... I have hope, because I know a cleanse is coming. <laughs> Thank you, guys. My drone you're not crazy. I've been to other timelines. Spent 45 years lost in a future apocalypse. I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. I'm glad to have found all of you. You want to hear some real shit, kid? Take it to a real meeting. Of course. Mustache. 
Yep, there we go. <laughs> Keepers function mainly as a support group. What's the organizing principle? They believe we're all somehow stuck in the wrong timeline. I think it's time you got back to your other cases. Hey, buddy. The universe brought us together. And I think that's fun. Anybody home? Hello? Diego and Lila's thing. It's little Grace's birthday party. I'm not going. Yes, you are. Why don't you take Claire Bear, huh? No, I can't. Me and one other woman. Okay, this is important. I can't keep doing laundry detergent commercials. Not hungry. You never eat. You give a shit. Exactly like that at her age. Welcome home gift. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Here's hey, your this is not my family. Party. My family is dead. No one leaves before cake, man. <laughs> Pinata first, then cake. Crypto exchange, web 3.0, <laughs> baby. Crypto exchange. Only... Still good to have you back. Cheers. Where's Victor? Oh, uh, he said he was coming. Call me. He's all about the bed. safety, yes. huh? Hey, why don't you come on in? Tell everybody you said hello. Awesome. When do you think I'll be hearing back from the agents? Sorry? Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, Gendo, Sambo. Diego, I let him know. I Claire, Claire, you're fine, Uncle Claire, Klaus. It's just a six-year-old's birthday party. Claire, Claire. Yeah, come here. It's possible. Right, yeah, of course. So this is an ESET piñata. Excuse me? Oh, my. This yeah, is <laughs> clearly an ESET. So please, can you hurry up? Where were you this morning? Oh, sorry, I was, um... As you, uh, tell me it gets easier. The kids. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my keys! Uh -huh. Please, you don't understand. Fine. This is incredibly awkward. Uh, <laughs> thought I'd pop in and say hello. Not awkward at all. <laughs> I mean, you do the job, and then there's life. You can, by the way. Some people were killed out of what you have. You're yeah, right. Victor, I need you to get in the van. <laughs> Not creepy at all. Oh. That was like two hours ago. Oh. Eastside piñatas are notorious for their difficulty. Piñata. Damn. Oh. I got it open. Wonder if Five knows about Victor. Was that Lila? No, yeah, so her book club, book, huh? Is, what are you doing here, Fancy? Three small children and one chunky husband is no picnic. The presentation's about to begin. Doctors. Look at all these beautiful, shining faces. We will be discussing the umbrella effect and correct timeline, timeline sickness. Well away. Question is, who benefits from covering this up? That we're living in the wrong timelines. How is it close? No idea. Can't really see your pretty little faces. This is my handsome fellow. Jerome, elaborate on the concept of the cleanse. Some believe it's the end. Special lecture on just this topic. We'll make sure to send you an invitation. It's possible the old man's reset didn't take. I think I never got married. Too much deception. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> Welcome home, brother. Check it out. You should avoid using the toilets on the second floor. This is a letter about Victor. You gotta call the others. Your brother Victor has been kidnapped. The CIA doesn't investigate kidnappings, that's the FBI. Uh, it says we're supposed to meet at size dry cleaning. Stay behind five. Can I make it to your niece's uh, birthday? Well, I was on <laughs> I the way. Why. This is my first kidnapping. I need your help. I couldn't leave anything to chance, especially when it comes to the Umbrella Academy. Can you explain this then? I'm bumbling buffoon here. Strange meetings. They're very strange people. They call themselves the Keeper. Terrible has happened. No offense, man. My daughter and I are very close. She's she's all that I have left. And uh... look, we'd like to help, but we're not the same people as in that picture anymore. Yeah, we're not special for yourself, Tuffy. <laughs> I think you're special. Why are you even considering helping that guy? What's going on? Like this. Yeah, they'll get their power. How do we know that's not just a jar of glow stick juice? Does anyone here actually want their power back? No. That at Benihana, huh? Angles are on. I know you want it. Wait. <laughs> no, I mean, my life Dang. is great. I have everything I So we don't get our powers back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 where's everyone going? We haven't even got. Uh, did he spike all the shots here? Come by. Freaking the... I'll meet you back at your shithole later. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. That was the season premiere of The Umbrella Academy. That was a little cool episode. 
kind of getting us re-ingrained back into this world and kind of going through everybody and see what, what's been going on. So about 60 years has passed. We have Allison going back to acting, but it sounds like starting at the lower level with commercials and such. And she has this big role that, that she's hoping to get with this new audition the, the next day. And I'm very curious to see where that's going to go, whether she's going to be successful or not. Because now it looks like they're all going to be getting their powers, as we saw at the end here with them finding the box after Victor got kidnapped. Ben kind of going off and seemingly sneaking the marigold liquid thing into their sake shots here. So yeah, I could definitely foresee how pissed they're going to be, especially after being forced to take it after they all voted not to. Yeah, that's my understanding of what happened there. I know Ben took his own shot there, but I think he just spiked all of them as well. So Diego's going to be happy. I think basically Diego. Uh, Luther is kind of a maybe, but the rest of the crew are like, hell no. Uh, we also had the we had Lila and Five stuff. That stuff is pretty interesting. About this whole conspiracy theorist group here who's being led by the two genes because they believe that they're stuck in a different timeline to which they're not wrong five still working at the cia kind of working undercover and just very intrigued with the whole thing we have lila same thing as well she's kind of repressing she definitely feels the weight of the world uh, with her family and and her husband here but yeah Deep inside, she definitely wants to go back to her old life. We have Luther here, just stripper, <laughs> uh, li living a grand old time, then living in the rundown Umbrella Academy home, and then with Ben going to prison through some crypto scamming stuff, whatever was going on with him, and just him being the brooding, grumpy self. Nothing has changed with Ben, that's for sure. And then lastly with Diego, just trying, wanting to relive his old glory days. He's been, been getting made fun of all episode about getting bigger. He also saw Five and Lila talking and it was not, not good timing at all when he saw Lila kind of rubbing the food off of Five's mouth. <laughs> it's like, that was the worst time to see that. But yeah, that's definitely going to blow up this whole misunderstanding. Uh, it's going to be, should be fun to see. So I cannot wait to jump into the next episode. Still can't believe there's only six to which there were what? Always 10, eight or 10 episodes all the rest of the season. And lastly, there is Klaus who has been living with Allison's basement. And well, we actually didn't get the husband of Allison, right? He was not here at all. But we got the daughter, which is pretty interesting to see. But Klaus without his powers, now he is sober and very, very scared of death pretty much. He is now overprotective, germaphobe, and it's definitely understandable with what he's gone through. And he doesn't want to go through that again, especially now that he is mortal and doesn't have his powers anymore. So yeah, with that said, that is pretty much all I have. So if you have any questions or theories, please leave in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.